Pleasant morning, ladies and gentlemen of the media, and welcome to the Trinidad Tobago Police Service Weekly Media Briefing for July 24th, 2019. I'm Superintendent Wayne Meister, Public Information Officer of the TTPS. And together with me, I have um, Inspector Dudnat Janki, who is the legal officer attached to the Eastern Division. Now, Eastern Division is one of uh, the nine divisions that, are ex uh, that is experiencing a uh, very high detection rate um, as it relates to crime and so on. So, Inspector Dudat will now give us information about the whole aspect of Eastern Division and what the division has been doing to keep their detection rate high. So, Dudat. Thank you very much, Superintendent Meister. Good morning, members of the press, our viewing audience. Eastern Division is the largest policing division by geographical area. It consists of nine police stations and stretches all the way from Matlot in the north to Rio Clara and Miara in the south. For the past six months, we have experienced the largest reduction in serious crimes in the country, with a 32% decrease. Thus far, we have had 326 reported crimes, compared with 479 for the same comparative period of 2018. This is 153 less reported serious crimes. Our detection rate, as mentioned earlier by Superintendent Meister, for serious crimes continues to be the highest in the country, at 50%, and has resulted in 532 persons being arrested and charged for various offenses. I would like to share with you some of the strategies that we have been employing to see the success. We have been continuously monitoring priority offenders and drug blocks. We have coordinated raids and searches on a regular basis at various locations. We have active directed mobile and foot patrols. We have continued training and development for police officers within the division. We have community-oriented policing and we also utilize the police youth groups and the police youth club, where we try to connect with youths from communities through active participation in the police youth clubs and try to mentor and befriend them through school activities, sports, community organizations, activities, and positive social groups. At this time, I would like to share with you some of the successes that we have been experiencing for the past six months. On the 8th of June, 2019, at 9.30 a.m., an ERP mobile patrol in the Miara district stopped a vehicle, and they arrested and charged a man for 33 kilograms of compressed marijuana. Further, on the 1st of July, 2019, at 8.10 p.m., a man entered a home at Beach and shot at several persons. The Beach police were contacted. They responded a vehicle was, was intercepted a short while after by the officers of the Beach police station. Two persons were arrested and were later charged for various offenses. One Glock 17 9 mm pistol with three magazines, which included two extendable magazines and 60 rounds of 9 mm ammunition sorry, were recovered in that vehicle. Again, on the 1st of July, 2019, around 8, 10 p.m., the victim was walking along a street in Valencia. When a car pulled up, a man wearing a gray hoodie, a lighted, pointed a firearm at the victim, and all points bulletin was sent to the command center and led to a party of officers in the Eastern Division ERP intercepting a vehicle along Pahari Village, Toko Main Road, Sunny Grandi. Four persons were held and later charged. One fire star 9mm pistol was also recovered. On the 1st of July 2019, at 3.55 a.m., the victim was seated in his vehicle in front of his home when he was approached by two men armed with a firearm and bandanas covering their face. Officers of the San Grande Criminal Investigations Department on patrol, and they later intercepted a black vehicle which was used in the robbery. As a result of that interception, one Beretta 9mm pistol, 
A magazine and three rounds of 9mm ammunition was recovered. Persons were arrested and charged. So far for the year, we have had several marijuana eradication exercises <coughs> in the Santa Grande, Miaro, Rio Claro, Matlot, and the beach areas. The officers journeyed into the forested areas. They destroyed 48,523 fully grown marijuana trees, 5,900 seedlings, and 77.72 kilograms of cured marijuana with an estimated value of $48,140,900. For the year so far, we have recovered 38 illegal firearms. These firearms include 11 revolvers, 16 pistols, 8 shotguns, 5 homemade shotguns. All in all, uh, in conclusion, I would like to take this opportunity to thank our Commissioner of Police and his executive for their continued support. I would also like to thank our Senior Superintendent, Mr. Andy Belfon, and our First Division officers for their astute guidance and leadership, as well as all of the hardworking police officers in Eastern Division who come out and support the administration and get the job done. Kudos to you and your families. I would also like to express heartfelt thanks and gratitude to our law abiding citizens and stakeholders for partnering with us in making Eastern Division and our country as a whole a safer place. I thank you.